Hey everyone, this is Dave with Mile High Drone Services. It's a beautiful day in November in Broomfield, Colorado. Today we're out at the Broomfield Radio Controlled Airfield and what we're going to talk about is our latest release of the Remote ID Receiver. This is version 2.4 and we've added a lot of capabilities to, from uh, the 1.0 firmware. Uh, speaking of 1.0, if you were one of the early adopters and got the 1.0 uh, remote ID receiver, if you want to get the 2.4 functionality, send it back to us. We will update the firmware and we will send it back to you and we will pay the postage. This is our way of thanking all of the early adopters. So having said that, the first big deal with 2.4 is we now have a remote ID receiver with a much larger display. This is the 1.0 receiver. This is the 2.4 receiver. Getting back to the early adopters. If you purchase one of the 1.0 receivers and you'd like the 2.4, send it back to us. Just pay the difference in the price and we'll send you the 2.4 receiver. We will give you the full value of what you paid for the 1.0 receiver uh, towards the 2.4. Again, just our way of saying thanks to all the early adopters and all the great comments that we got uh, for version 1.0. New firmware capabilities in 2.4. Um, we got some comments that you know they didn't like the flickering when the display was being updated. That has been fixed. No more flickering. So everything I'm stating is going to be true on both of them, except for in one example, and I'll point that out. The next thing. 1.0 supported one drone in the air. 2.4 will support up to 64 drones in the air. Quite a few. Next thing is, and we think this is a, a pretty big deal. Yeah, as you know, when you're out in the field and you see the, the GPS coordinates of the drone or the pilot, you gotta write those down and then, you know, bring up your phone and uh, manually enter them into Google Maps. We now display a QR code on the display. All you do is take your phone, turn on the camera, uh, focus on the QR code, and then you can tap on it and it will launch Google Maps and take you to a map and show you exactly where the drone is. There's also a QR code for the pilot. That'll work on both units. Now, we also have a QR code which will show you all of the telemetry data for the drone. It'll launch a web page, show you the data, give you the ability to click on some links to, to launch Google Maps. And you also have the ability, if you want to email all that data to yourself or someone else, you can do that. That capability only exists on 2.4. And the reason for that is the QR code is too large to be fit on the 1.0 display. The next feature, which you will get if you order 2.4, it's currently in beta. We think it's sound and working, but we're not gonna guarantee it at this point in time. And that is the ability to upload in real time the drone data and the pilot data up to the cloud. It will upload the data once a minute when there are drones being detected. That'll be stored up in the cloud. You can then go to a URL at a later point in time that we will provide. You enter the serial number of your remote ID receiver and it will show you all of the data that was broadcast. Obviously to do this you need to have a live Wi-Fi connection that this chip can talk to. The easiest way to do that, the most realistic way to do that is to turn a hotspot on your phone and um, the way you configure it is through a serial cable when it's connected to your PC. The SSID, the password, and all that is stored in flash. So you do it once, you don't need to do it again. Of course, you can uh, edit the data, remove the data, uh, whatever. Obviously, if you don't put in an SSID, then that capability will not be done because there's no way for this to talk to the cloud without getting on a network. So again, that's in beta. Um, everyone who orders one of the 2.4 chips will send you an email with detailed instructions on how to do it. 
As of today, the website for viewing the data is still being worked on, but we hope to have it up and running by probably December 5th or so, 2022. Uh, that's what our goal is. So, having said that, let's launch our Mavic 3, which is upgraded to the latest firmware, so it transmits remote ID, and we'll make uh, several videos showing the different capabilities that we talked about. As always, if you have any questions, send us an email through our website. Um, appreciate the support of all the early adopters. It's been quite a ride trying to get all the parts uh, to develop these chips, the firmware for these chips and all that. This is a product we were not planning on doing, but we decided like three weeks ago to do it. So it's been a, it's been a fun journey so far and uh, we've got a lot of other ideas and uh, we'll share with you those once they uh, get closer to product. Thanks again, fly safe, have a great day. Have a great holiday.